today I'm going to be reviewing a book called The World Was Children 2. So it's even worse and it's by David Williams as well. So basically it's like World Was Children 1 but there, and there is 10 stories in one book and they're short and they're very very funny uh, as usual of David Williams. And basically there is the 10 um, children that he's going to be uh, talking about is Herbert the Hungry Baby, Stacy Superstar, Fuzzy Frankie, Gruesome Gazelda, Spoiled Brad, Cruel Calarissa, Henry, who never ever did his homework. Competitive colon, no, 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 Tradish the Troll. And right now I'm going to read a few pages of Herbert the Hungry Baby, who is a very, a very chubby fat baby, and he was born that way, he always wanted food, and yeah, that is basically it. So listen up. Oh my, claimed the midwife as he delivered the baby. It was the biggest tot the lady has ever seen in many of the days of delivering them. He plopped onto the floor of the hospital like a beached whale. Oh my word, cried father. He, how had a skinny bean of a man helped create such an enormous baby? Is he beautiful? asked the baby's anxious mother. mother. She couldn't see her newborn child for when, where she was lying on the bed. Well, you know how big is beautiful, replied father. Yes, he, well, he's definitely big. How big exactly? L just let me weigh him for you, missus, cried out the midwife. With great effort, he hauled the monster baby onto the scales, which immediately broke under his weight. Twang! So as it says in the few pages, you can see that Herbert is a fat baby and he was born like that. The mum and dad were both skinny, especially the dad. And how can they produce such a massive baby? And basically, he um, earlier and later on in the story, uh, Herbert is taken, taken home and... Of course, the parents got everything they needed, like baby bottles, um, suckers, you know, uh, cots and pajamas, little tiny ones, you know, for babies. But then, obviously, Herbert was so big; he didn't, it didn't even fit half of his legs. He, it didn't even fit anything. And the cot which they put him in just broke as well. So they he had to sleep in the mother and father's bed and the mother and, mother and father had to sleep. The mother slept on the couch in the sitting room and the father slept upright on the in, in the wardrobe. And you can see it's very that would be very uncomfortable. But they just had to make do with it. Um and basically he um, Herbert would have bottle and bottle and bottles of milk. He would have loads of milk, gallons of milk before he went to sleep in bed and the parents would go tired and sleep. And then in the night, he, Herbert would wail for food. He would be like, Mommy, Daddy, I want food. But obviously they would be sleeping uh, like because they're so tired. So he would roll downstairs from the stairs and then get everything in the kitchen literally everything he would eat everything and then he would just lay there till morning and this happened every single day and Herbert as you know Herbert is a very hungry baby as it describes the rest of the stories are similar like that, just in different ones. And the one I like best is Stacy Superstar. She believes that is she she can become a superstar, but she actually won't because her voice is like deafening. No one likes her singing. Even when she sang to her mum and dad, she, um her mum went and left one Antarctica because she didn't like her voice 
and basically I like that because it was very funny and it was a very funny ending as well uh, for the for the dad for the mum for everyone in the world basically and the world's worst children is one of my favorite all-time um books I love it so I'm recommending it to you and I would rate it a 4.9 because uh, some of the stories are a bit boring in some parts but then it gets exciting but I don't like how David Williams didn't make it all fun through but still I loved it so this is the end of my review I hope you enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe for more videos I'm gonna dance because I'm happy